Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? I had this to talk about today because uh, it had been speculated upon this week. Uh, and now all of the big dogs who report on the NFL have this. Uh, Schefter is reporting, as are Rappaport and others. Uh, the Raiders have informed other teams they would consider trading wide receiver Devontae Adams uh, for a package that would include a second-round pick and additional compensation. So, um, naturally, one of the teams that's being thrown in the mix there, uh, along with, uh, coincidentally, uh, the Saints' opponent this week, the Kansas City Chiefs, after the injury to Rasheed Rice, are your New Orleans Saints. Um, and it was interesting because I saw this earlier today. At uh, I believe Saints Wire plucked this up. It was um, it's a YouTube show named uh, Paul Esten. I don't know who this is, but he has a YouTube show. And the guys at Saints Wire found this interview from over the summer when Randy Mueller, who started working with the Saints back around the draft and then was added to the to a role in the, the pro personnel department in August. Um, Randy Mueller was asked back then, in the, earlier this year, if they were going to do a trade for um, for Devontae Adams, you know, what would you would you get for Devontae Adams? He said you know, he would not go... First, he said it could be maybe a second rounder that could be conditional if he meets certain you know, thresholds, but really a conditional type stair-stepping compensation, really like a, a second round pick. And lo and behold, this apparently is what the Raiders are asking teams for, a package that would include a second round pick and additional compensation for Devontae Adams. Um, say this all the time, so just to, to be very upfront, if... I believe that every general manager, if you're doing your job and doing it well, then you are always considering every option to make your team better. And sometimes it's just not going to make sense. But you don't want to you don't want to give yourself a no without having the opportunity to let someone else tell you no. You can't be afraid of rejection. And with Devontae Adams, it's one of those players that I think you have to consider the possibility of what he would mean for your team. Let's talk first about on-field, and then we can get into the other ancillary stuff. So first and foremost, would Devontae Adams make you a better football team on the field? Absolutely, unequivocally, not even a question. Yes, Devontae Adams makes you a better team on the field. The New Orleans Saints, all throughout this entire offseason, we've talked about two position groups that for New Orleans were thin and not very talented. It was the offensive line, number one, where you return only two starters. You're trying to salvage Trevor Penning at right tackle. You have a, a rookie at left tackle. And then an NFL journeyman who's played well in Lucas Patrick at left guard. And then a lot of unknown Nick Saldaveri and Landon Young. I mean, you get it. The other is receiver. Because after your first two guys, who many of us believe are very good, Chris Olave is proving to be a legitimate number one, and then Rashid Shahid, who has stretched the field deep threat potential. After that, your receiving group is a hodgepodge of bland average to awful. I mean, we're talking about Cedric Wilson and A.T. Perry and Equinemius St. Brown. My God, you have an undrafted free agent out of an Ivy League school named Mason Tipton who made your team and is catching passes in the fourth quarter of a one-score game. You're down in the fourth quarter to Atlanta, and you're targeting Mason Tipton. Y'all, like, that ain't good. I don't need to spell that out for you. If you're a contending team, that ain't good. So, yes, does Devontae Adams make you a better a better team if you get him? Undeniably. And it's worth mentioning, you got the Fresno State connection with Carr. He had been in Green Bay, went to the Raiders to pair with his Fresno State teammate, Derek Carr, as we all well know, it didn't go great for those guys a year or two years ago. And then Derek Carr obviously comes to New Orleans last season, and now Devontae Adams has just been sitting there catching passes from Aiden O'Connell and Garner Minshew, and uh, who else was there last? I mean, somebody I mean, they used like four quarters. You remember who else? Was there Garoppolo. Last year? 
Yeah, that's right. Jimmy yeah. G, did, but he, did he play it all last year? Go, th isn't this a good illustration of like, yeah, you're a great receiver and your career, you go from catching passes from Aaron Rodgers when you were considered ar arguably the best receiver in the NFL. I mean, three years ago, this guy was considered arguably the best receiver in the NFL. And you had a rookie, Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson, who were challenging that. And then you got guys like CeeDee Lamb, who have been outstanding. But, I mean, three years ago, we were talking about Devontae Adams as the best receiver in football, and now he's just a forgotten man. I mean, he's got 18 catches on 27 targets this year. I mean, they have targeted Devontae Adams 27 times. Y'all, the Giants targeted Malik Neighbors 27 times this weekend. I mean, it's like, what are, we, what are we talking about here? You stink and you can't get this guy the ball. Um, so, yes, uh, even still, after having gone to Las Vegas, the last two years with the Raiders, he still had 100 catches. You know, he had 123 his last year in Green Bay, 100 in 2022, his first year with Derek Carr in Vegas, and last year he had 103 receptions. So you're still talking about, even at 32 years old, a productive receiver that makes you better. Here's the problem. This is always, always, always the point I bring up when you're going to make a trade for a player. Would you want to trade for the player? Yes. Do you want to trade for the contract? Remember, you're not just trading for the player. You're trading for the contract. You are giving an asset to get the player, but along with that player comes the player's contract. So when you look... At Devontae Adams' deal, over the next two years, Devontae Adams carries a cap hit of $44.1 million in 2025 and in 2026 before he becomes an unrestricted free agent in 2027. We could look at the dead cap money, which is significantly less, but you're not getting rid of Devontae Adams. If you trade for him, he's going to be part of your roster. So are you willing to allow Devontae Adams in 2025 at age 33 and 2026 his age 34 season to count $44.1 million against your salary cap in each of those two years? And let me remind you as well that you've got Derek Carr on this roster as well. And for better or worse, I've told you this, you are financially bound to Derek Carr after you restructured him this year you're financially bound to Derek Carr for the next two years where he's going to eat up more than $50 million of your salary cap. And if you want to restructure it, fine, but you're just kicking the can down the road even further. So if you want Devontae Adams, would you give up a second-round pick for the opportunity? And, and then other whatever other compensation might be in there. Would you give up a second-round pick to take on a contract where you're going to have to pay De uh, Devontae Adams $44 million for the next two seasons? for a guy that's going to be in his age 33 and 34 year seasons. That, for me, is hard to justify. Now, for the Kansas City Chiefs, that's an easy decision. Saw a similar conversation today about Amari Cooper. If he's a potential trade target at the deadline. Yeah. The Kansas City Chiefs, who have this window with Patrick Mahomes where they are trying to win a Super Bowl every single year. And you just lost Rasheed Rice. You got Xavier Worthy. Juju's probably going to get more targets now. But you have an opportunity to maybe get Devontae Adams and give up a second-round pick for it if you're the Kansas City Chiefs. Hell yeah, you do that. There ain't no value in a second-round pick like what Devontae Adams could bring to your team this year. If I'm the New Orleans Saints and I'm thinking about trading for a player, it's not on the offensive side, it's not a wide receiver. It's an offensive lineman. Because you're going to be without your starting center for two months. And you're just trying to hold your head above water to try to be able to make a run late. Do you honestly think this team is going to be able to do that when you look at the schedule it has ahead? Now, maybe your answer is yes. And if your answer is yes, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not here to try to convince you one way or another if they will or won't be contending for anything by the time Eric McCoy comes back. But right now, you're a 2-2 two and two football team. You play the Chiefs this weekend. I don't think many people feel awesome about that. 
You come home against Tampa, home against Denver on a short week. Best case, in my opinion, you lose to the Chiefs, you beat Bucks and Broncos, you're four and three. Best case. You got to go back to back to LA to play the Chargers, to Carolina to play the Panthers. Winnable games, but you're crisscrossing the country. That's tough travel. Then you're home against the Falcons, home against the Browns, home against the Rams. That's where you can make hay, but then you finish at the Giants, home against the Commanders, at Green Bay, home against the Raiders, at Tampa. The road schedule is brutal. So what are you? do you really think that you're a contender if you add Devontae Adams? If the answer is yes, then I'm okay making the trade. I just don't believe the New Orleans Saints are a contender. I don't believe they are Devontae Adams away from being a legitimate contender to win a Super Bowl. So if that's the case, do you want to have that albatross around your neck from a salary cap perspective and give up a second round pick, which is a future asset that can help you get younger and help you in your salary cap situation by having potentially a young starter? coming up in this year's draft. That is the big issue I have. So, the Saints would absolutely be right to vet this situation. To see what it would take to get Devontae Adams. To maybe pair him with Derek Carr. To give Carr another another weapon. Because listen, you're financially committed to Derek Carr for two more years, so you might as well do everything you can to try to make it work. But are you really willing to continue to mortgage your future for a, a present where the ceiling doesn't appear very high? That's the question the Saints have to answer. And they've given us the answer by the way they handle their cap situation and have handled their cap situation. I just happen to disagree with it, but we'll see what they do. Uh, the Raiders are inquiring about, uh, have let teams know they are uh, willing to entertain trade offers for wide receiver Devontae Adams. See if the Saints get in the mix. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.